Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 50 to 60 minutes or so discussing the offerings that are in the market in the Medicare supplement arena, and in particular, in particular one of the hot products that has a particular uh, attraction for many agents outside of the fact that it's very competitive, offered by a great company, offered by some great friends from the past, that sort of thing. It's also an opportunity for us to make certain that we're able to deliver quick service to our customers, our prospects and our clients. And without stealing thunder, we'll let the folks with American Benefit Life, our, our old and dear friend in time, not his age, uh, speak to us about some of the uh, offerings that we have with that organization. We're very excited about the possibilities. Today's presentation is being recorded and it will be available on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel as well. Don't panic about, oh gee, where am I gonna find it? Well, you're gonna receive follow-up as well to make certain that you have the information you need to make this a viable part of your portfolio. You'll notice in the software package that there's a section for both questions and chat. Strangely enough, we ask that you put your questions in the questions box. We find that we cover the majority of them generally through the course of the presentation, but we will check periodically to make certain that we get you the answers you need to make this a viable investment of your time and effort moving forward. And in order to do so, we're going to start with perhaps a little bit of level set. I recognize many of the names of the folks that are on the webinar. There are some that I don't. So let's speak to the general question of, well, who is Premier? Premier is a national marketing organization that is uh, founded in 1968. It's part of the integrity marketing platform with offices across the country, licensed in all 50 states. We act as an insurance wholesaler working with independent insurance agents such as yourself through contracts that are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts to, available to those who qualify. And we do so through a full portfolio of products. So all of the base medical programs for Medicare, the Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement programs and Part D prescription drug plans, the Medicare Supplements being a very viable player in the marketplace. And we want to make certain that we address the entire spectrum of the Medicare population. But we do so beyond the medical portion, offering a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, long and short-term care programs and disability income programs, and those ancillary programs that address specific needs of your prospects and clients, including dental vision hearing programs, critical illness cancer plans, hospital indemnity and accident programs, and even a telehealth program. So when we speak of the Medicare Advantage programs, we have the national players there for you through our organization and many of the strong regionals that can make a difference for you in your market. We want to make certain that we do adhere to the adage of the right product for the right person at the right time. And that in many cases makes us go beyond sometimes our comfort level for Medicare Advantage agents. Well, you have the, the prescription drug programs. They're normally part of that MA contract. A couple of exceptions on this page. Mutual of Omaha is a separate contract and Clever RX is just a discount program and not a Part B prescription drug program. But you normally find these available as part of your MA contract. <coughs> Excuse me. They're a viable means for agents to uh, complete the package of care for their prospects and clients, particularly when you deal with the uh, programs that we discussed today in the Medicare supplement arena. We have national carriers available to you in this area, including our offerings today um, with American Benefit Life and their sister companies. When we look at the ancillary programs in each of those categories, you have the leaders there for you. We like to speak to these programs, <coughs> excuse me, not only because they address a specific need of our prospects and clients and satisfy that need if we do some things properly, it gives us that opportunity, however, to cross sell, to drive up our persistency and our retention across the board, but it also gives us additional marketing opportunities and an additional revenue stream for ourselves and our organizations. So when we look at the Medicare market overall, we see the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 
uh, 10,000 plus people a day. And if you're looking at the Medicare market just based on 65 and older, you see nearly an exponential growth. But we also see through research uh, provided to us by organizations out there that we're finding a number of people who may be eligible for Medicare benefits at age 65 that aren't accessing them all completely when they're first eligible. They're delaying enrollment for one reason or another. Perhaps the pandemic has them working past the age of 65. Perhaps they're a tail end baby boomer where they don't get social security full benefits until 66 and a half or 70 or 67. Whatever the, the, the circumstance is, we want to make certain that we see a clear view of the market. And so we then look at that population that's under the age of 65 and accessing benefits because of medical disability. In each of these categories, these folks have choices. I mean, they can turn down the optional Part B coverage if they want to. Thankfully, most don't inadvertently. Um, you have folks that will delay that for good reason. And then you'll find some others that, well, I'm gonna self-insure for the shortfall of the medical cost, sometimes because they just don't know any different. And I'll pick up one of those Part D programs to help me with my medica medication uh, cost and things that are presented in that area. Those folks are, in many cases, viable prospects for standardized, modernized Medicare supplements and Medicare Advantage plans. So in each of these areas, we want to make certain that we deliver product and programs that help them cover the needs that they have. And so we see when people are first enrolling into Medicare, we have a pretty even split as to what their initial choices are. It's been a little affected by the pandemic according to some different research that we have, but you're looking at a market that we need to serve and we need to serve based on their needs and what is best for them. And that then includes making certain that we have choices in each of those areas. So outside of the choices, how are we gonna translate what information that they receive? For those of you that have been in the Medicare market for a while and you've gone into a person's house or you've done a a Zoom call or whatever, and you see the stack of paper that is on their desk. It's very confusing because a lot of it can be all written up with acronyms. Every segment of our society has those lovely little letters, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, -E, whatever it happens to be. This guide provided to us by CMS helps us translate those acronyms. And I don't say that just out of jest because this is a slide that I've used for nearly a year now. And then when I pulled it off the internet, look at that, 4,420 acronyms. We want to make certain that we're able to communicate properly, deliver the information folks need in order to make their best choices, and remind ourselves that if we use acronyms to define them so folks can properly understand what's going on, or in many cases, limit our use of acronyms and speak to people in good old, plain old mother tongue, whatever that happens to be. One of the nice things that we see about Medicare supplements is uh, in most circumstances, they're not limited by the election periods that we see with MA or PDP programs. They can be affected because, well, if someone has an MA plan, they want to go to a MedSup, there are certain times they can or cannot do it. But you have all these special election codes. You almost use an acronym myself, all of these SEPs that are available. And of course, the special, special election periods all of these can make a big difference if you think back into that slide as to the choices they have available. We want to make certain that we don't just tease them, that they have the opportunity to make a choice and to change things when appropriate. And so we want to make certain that that information is out there for them to understand and discuss because Kaiser Family Foundation tells us that normally the vast majority of people on Medicare aren't doing an annual evaluation no matter what their base programs are. So this gives us the opportunity to speak to an audience that has the wherewithal or the ability to change plans even in lock-in because we're gonna find folks that aren't locked into a product and we can do some different things to market in that area. And so sometimes that's where we make use of the prescription drug programs because we wanna make certain that we look at those factors that well, people tend to claim more on their medications than they do on a lot of the medical a lot of the times. And we want to make certain that we are helping them across the board. For some med sup agents, this can be a bit of a challenge because it does require the annual certifications. 
But that investment of the time not only helps us educate and re-educate ourselves each and every year, it gives us that marketing uh, influence that we need in order to speak to people about their programs because they're not using what the government puts out there. They're not even reading their Medicare Bible, so to speak, and not to offend anybody, but hey, everybody in October gets a copy of it, be it electronic or through the postal service. They're not using some of the other tools the government puts out there. And so we wanna make certain that we deliver information to them in the manner that they're open to receive it. And sometimes that means switching back and forth from the good old sit across the kitchen table, shake hands, kiss babies, do an in-person type of presentation. Not everyone wants that now. And we're seeing a population that has become very open to a virtual experience because they've been trained to do so over the last few years. Uh, geez, can you believe that it's been a few years since this pandemic has hit us and people are in this demographic or accustomed to using and receiving information this way because their doctors ask them of it, their specialists, prep works done by hospitals and dentists all electronically. Heck, we even celebrate our faith electronically in many circumstances. So we have an opportunity to deliver information that is time sensitive for the folks that are looking for the info. It helps us be more effective in managing our time, but it also then makes certain that we're able to deliver that information in the manner that people want and can then disseminate and consummate that relationship through electronic means. So with that in mind, we've asked our friends um, from American Benefit Life, Liberty Bankers and Capital Life and all the sisters companies to come on board and visit with us about the opportunities they have with their Medicare supplement program. And so we've invited our very knowledgeable and man of many voices uh, to, to come on and visit with us about the programs that they offer and what makes them different. And so for those of you that have been in the business more than a half of a night, you are probably familiar with this gentleman, uh, a longtime uh, mover and shaker in the Medicare supplement market, a dear friend, but also an incredibly knowledgeable individual that really helps us recognize the strengths and weaknesses of different programs, how we go about marketing them, and help us proofread because evidently John was typing and he doesn't even know how to spell office. I apologize for that. So what we'll do at this particular point in time is turn the controls over to our friend Tim Tilson and ask him to help us work through the opportunities that they have with the programs that they offer. So Mr. Tilson, as they say on Star Trek, sir, you have the helm. I have the calm, right? I watched Star Trek yeah. at time. Thanks, John. What I'm going to do now is share that screen, and I would love it if you could help me and tell me when that screen loads. Can you see yep. the LBIG for Life, the little yep. red logo? We hear you loud and clear, and we see the presentation, sir. I always like to do a voice and and video check. And let me just make sure I can, people can see me. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I, I'm going to try for it. All right, here we, here go. we go. So as John said, my name's Tim Tilson. I'm the national sales manager for Liberty Backers Insurance Group, or one of them. And my job is to support you and agent sales of the Medicare supplement plans offered by the company. Today, we're really gonna focus on American Benefit Life's Medicare Supplement Plan offering. We're gonna talk through a couple of different things together. Well, I'd like to maybe share some information about the company. Maybe we haven't, maybe you know me, but you don't know the company. Maybe you know the company from our life offerings or our annuity offerings, which are strong offerings, which John could get you more info on, but haven't heard about our Medicare Supplement offering. So we're gonna focus on the company first, talk a little bit about Medicare Supplements, I would ask if you could put in those questions. If you wanted to throw some Medicare supplement questions in there, I'd welcome them. We're also going to talk about an opportunity that I feel is unique with our company, and that is our on-the-spot underwriting approach. If you're an agent and you've worked with other MedSub carriers in the past, you could probably tell me stories about pain points you've had around underwriting, whether it's a difficult situation that you're trying to navigate 
that takes 30 to 45 days, or even a straightforward underwriting situation that takes three, four, five days, and the client calls you three times a day for each of those days. What if you could use a carrier with American Benefit Life, you can, by the way, and get an on-the-spot answer for that underwritten application? So let me show you in a few slides what that means. And my hope is that with our competitive rates, our A minus excellent rating, you'll feel comfortable placing your first piece of business with us. Why not try us out? So we'll talk about that. I think it's important to note anytime a carrier has an agent incentive trip, to note it, we do. We have a fabulous one. And here's my first voice of the day it's a Norwegian cruise through the fjords of Norway. And we'll talk about that trip and what you need to do to qualify there. Next, we'll talk about if you're not contracted, how to get contracted. I can help you. Certainly, John and the great folks at Premier can help you as well. And then we'll conclude and take some questions. So that's what we're going to do together. And as a carrier rep, my job is to tell you a little bit about, a little bit about the company. And we're really focused on life, health, and financial products. When you talk about capital life or you talk about American benefit life, these are companies with deep roots in the community. I'll say American Benefit Life has been around since the early 1900s, and those roots began in Oklahoma. Capital Life was 1905 and in the hills of Colorado. If you'd like more information, just Google that, right? Learn a little bit about, from our social media perhaps, the history of these companies, which started with life, and then expand it into other, yep, expand it into other uh, product lines. We're also proud that we have $3 billion in assets with $340 million uh, adjusted value there too. So I think as you're looking at carriers, some, some agents are interested in the, well, many agents are interested in the financial standing of the companies they're dealing with. Dealing with. So I'll share with you, all, we're financially stable and our AM best rating is A-excellent. So we're here to help you, and we're trying to do this from a position of strength and to work with you in a position of strength today. And although we're talking about Medicare Supplement, we also have other products. So if you're looking for life products, annuity products, supplemental health, John has contracts for those as well. Premier has contracts for those as well, and we could talk about that. But we're really going to focus on the Medicare Supplement today. And we are an industry innovator, and yet it's not in the plan types, right? Unlike maybe a Medicare supplement or other types of products, I'm, I'm sorry, unlike Medicare Advantage and other types of products, Medicare supplement plans are standardized. If you're new to this business, learn the most commonly sold. That's plan G. Learn the second most commonly sold. That's plan N. These plan benefits are the same. So if you look at a chart, you might say, what's the difference between a plan G and a plan N? The difference is that both, although both require the member to pay the Part B deductible, remember Part A is skilled nursing, hospice, home health and hospital. Shh, I'm not shushing you, but that's the acronym. And Part B is the DOD, but not Department of Defense. It's durable medical outpatient and doctor bills. Those things have gaps. So what people do, is they try to supplement Medicare with a Medicare supplement. They try to fill in the gaps with the Medigap. Both of those names, that's what we're talking about here today, that Medicare supplement plan. And Plan G says after the Part B deductible is paid by the member, after that, those gaps, they're filled in by the Medicare supplement, whether it's the Part A deductible. So if you're hospitalized without a supplement plan or any other type of coverage, you're going to pay over $1,000. It's a deductible per hospital stay. It's actually per benefit period. So that $1,000 under Plan G, that's the carrier's bill to pay. So it becomes zero and out of pocket. Uh, TV and phone bill, of course, that's extra. When you talk about other Part A capabilities, whether it's gaps, you buy a Medigap to fill in that gap. Under Plan G, again, where's your zero? It's in the out of pocket for some of those other things. And under Part B, it's durable medical, outpatient, and doctor bills after the Part B deductible. That's paid for by the carrier. Again, if you're visiting a provider who accepts Medicare, and many do, where's your zero? 
it's in that out of pocket. So when you look at these options, and, and John shared that you have a wide variety of options to present and other types of products to present. But when you look at this product specifically, in exchange for a monthly plan premium, after the member pays the Part B deductible, right? where's the zero? It's in the out-of-pocket. There is a premium. They still pay their Part B premium. But the zero is in that out-of-pocket after that deductible. Excess charges are paid. The difference between G and N would be, well, be Part B excess charges. And that's when a doctor takes Medicare but not assignment. They'll take a Medicare payment right, a Medicare patient, but they won't take that payment as payment in full. They are then allowed to bill up to 15% of that Part B charge as an access to the member. Remember, that's durable medical outpatient and doctor bills. Remember also, many providers accept Medicare and assignment. They'll take that payment as payment in full, and they won't bill the excess charge. So in exchange for taking some of the premium and putting it in your pocket under Plan N, the member has slightly higher out-of-pockets. There's one example. Another is after the Part B deductible, doctor bills, it's a copay of up to $20 for certain physician office visits. It's actually 20% of the Medicare approved charge up to a maximum of $20 for certain physician office visits tied to the billing code, C, the CPT 99510, 512, 514, and on. So there's a narrow list of codes where the doctor bills the 20%, and the carrier pays everything but you know, $20 or 20%, right? That $20 cap there is the member to pay. So we have sort of those two out of pockets on the table. We also have an ER visit, which is waived if admitted of $50. So Plan N says for a lower monthly premium, maybe of $30 a month, you're putting on the table some out of pocket. How about a hospital stay? You still have that zero, right? What about after the Part B deductible for outpatient services, services for durable medical? Again, you still have the zero. So you have an opportunity to talk to the client about something that really limits your out-of-pocket. In exchange for that monthly premium, you have the zero in the out-of-pocket. Some people call it a budgeting feature. That's network issues, not a problem. And those are two of the key strengths of Medicare supplement plans. Plan G, Plan N. I should note some folks may also have Plan F. Plan F is still available for sale for individuals eligible for Medicare prior to 1-1-2020. These individuals can still buy a Medicare supplement plan F from our carrier and other carriers that choose to offer it. So if you run into someone and they don't want to give up their plan F because it paid all their spouse's bills, you're able to talk to them. Maybe they go through our underwriting process, review their plan and premium and take a look at that as an option. They're allowed to still buy it. So let's just take a moment and talk through really some of the things that sets us apart. One, it's our competitive rates. And we'll show you the states where we're available on the next slide. But in multiple states, we're in the top couple of carriers, if you were to use one of the spreadsheet or, or rate quoting tools that are out there that Premier offers to you. So we are competitive, but we're within a couple of dollars of that number one spot. Maybe we're in that number one spot. So competitive rates, that does set us apart. On the spot underwriting, we'll detail that more. That is unique to us, that we give you the opportunity to submit an electronic app. And after you submit that information, if you just wait 30 seconds or a minute on that page, you'll get a yes, no answer on probably three out of every four applications. For that one out of four that requires underwriting, this is what sets us apart, is you'll see a link. You'll click the link, you'll answer a few questions, and then you'll get your answer right there. You click submit, and within three or four or five minutes, you've got your answer. So what that means to you is with an answer now and in a competitively priced plan, you have the opportunity to move forward. If the individual was to climb, you now have the opportunity to move to another market. You don't have to wait three, four, five days, or sometimes 30 days for a carrier response. And this is facilitated by our e-app. We're excited about that. An electronic e-app, there's the acronym John warned me about. The e-app that we have, or you can log into our website and do an electronic application. But we also have a mobile app, which I'll show you 
and this will help you streamline the process. What if you could type in the name of the medication and help identify if the individual is a good candidate for underwriting just on the meds? That's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Before you submit the app, you'll know if they're a good candidate for underwriting. We feel like all those pieces together means we're easy, easy to do business and that e-app is important there. So here are some of the states where we are, actually all the states. We're in 30 plus states, again, with competitive rates. So whether you're sitting where John is in Texas or I grew up in Pennsylvania or any of the other, uh, New Jersey, any of the other states on this list, you have an opportunity to offer American Benefit Life and put all those pieces together. And I do, before I go into some more of those details, I do want to share that I work alongside Sarah Deal and Delise Billingsley. You may know from other, uh, other lives, right? We've all worked for other carriers in our past. I shall, other carriers shall remain nameless, but maybe you've dealt with Sarah Deal on the phone with another MedSub carrier, or you've met Delise out west with her that, that she and I shared or, or another one. And then Mariana Jones, you might have known her as Mariana DeMoss. She's returned to her maiden name, but she's still great. And she wor works as our Senior Vice President of Sales. So I do want to say that I mentioned that, that app that you can type in medications, and you can search for it now. If you have your phone out, you want to sort of pick that up and, and search for it. You can use that e-app. I'll pull it up myself, right? You can search for it on the app store. That was how fast it is. Search for ABL, Medicare Supplement. And when you do, it'll note that we have a sort of spouse in the house kind of a discount, right? It's that 10% discount. If one individual is applying and accepted, then the second individual is 50 or older in most states. That'll give an individual a 10% discount. That'll help our rate competitiveness. I think in other lives, maybe with our Capital Life MITSUP offering, it was a, a lower percentage discount and each individual needed to be on the plan. So with American Benefit Life, we're really excited about that offer. And we're also excited, again, that you can type in medications here and get an opportunity to see if they're a good candidate for underwriting. Furosemide is the third one on the right here. And if you typed in F-U-R-O-S in our Rx check, you'll see that this medication requires a review. And if the dosage is greater than 40 milligram, then we'll tell you that's a decline. If it's a, do a dosage tied to cirrhosis or kidney failure or congestive heart failure, again, it's a decline. We have other examples on the screen, Eliquis. It's a decline if, that turns yellow, decline if it's tied to AFib or you've had a pacemaker put in something of that type. We use Humira as an example of a drug that if you submitted the application and someone was taking Humira, that, that individual would be declined. So with that, it's very interactive. You type in the first couple of letters, they'll pop up, you click the button, boom, you get an example right here. So that's one part in the past of the pending business dashboard. You log into our website, click that sort of my business button that's highlighted, and you'd be able to see the results of your application. If it's been approved, if it's been declined, or if there's an application that needs more info. All right, they always want me to start the video, and I'd rather talk to you than start a video. But you can look up our video. It says Fast Got Faster. That's going to detail in one minute our on the spot underwriting. We really feel like with on the spot underwriting, we're going to give you that fast underwriting decision that the whole process will take less than three minutes. That that 100% digital point of sale experience is straightforward. So if you're not a technology person, it's okay. You can get comfortable with it pretty quickly. And then we've tried to streamline it to make it helpful to you. One of the things that we did in the past was take a phone interview for submitted applications. And that 15 minute or 30 minute or 40 minute phone call would determine the application. So we're removing the phone call and moving it to a mobile approach. If I can sit in my house and order food, if I can request a, a ride, why can't I do the underwriting process and, and complete that as we go? So basically, this is the process. You'd log on to the agent portal. 
this is what it looks like. You can see, I think, from Portugal, which was our last year international trip, you see the, the pick there. You can then go to quote and enroll. There's a sandbox on the left-hand side and white lettering. But you click on that blue section, it pop up a window. Uh, if you've used other carriers, it might look like another carrier's website. It's ours. We do use a, a name brand TPA, Aetna. I know you've heard of Aetna. It's on the back of the ID cards, but we use some of their technology tools to submit the application, although our underwriting is going to look a little different, hopefully better, faster, stronger. But you type in the information, you complete the process, and then you'd hang on. And you'd look, and you'd see right here at the end of the e-app under My Cases, you'd see whether that application has been accepted, and that would be in green, declined, that would show in red, a little button there. Or you'll see if it needs more underwriting info, and that's that sort of yellow color. And there'll be a link there. We're also going to email this link to your email, but if you just wait 30 seconds after you submit the application, it'll show right here. And we com completed our preliminary review, we have a little more info. You click the link, you verify their last name and their zip code, you click another button that says I'm talking to them or they're on video chat or I'm in their house. And then we ask for some additional info. One thing that might pop up is RX Picker. So if you've submitted you know, applications with us in the past with Capital Life Insurance Company or with American Benefit Life for our MedSup, in the past, we would have asked you to data enter all the medications in advance. You can now, I'm directing you to skip that section as part of the e-app. When the app submitted, we will get a third-party vendor to gather the prescription info. Now, if at this point we're requesting more info, there might be some conflicting information. So at this point, you'd ask the client for that RX info and you'd data enter it. If there's a medication, you'd look for the dosage closest and you'd put that in right here. Maybe the individual has VA coverage and our third-party vendor doesn't have their RX. So again, you'd enter that here if we request it. Once you enter the medications, there's likely another set of questions based on them or information in their medical data. An example I give here is at any time, have you been medically, medically diagnosed, treated, or had surgery for congestive heart failure, an unoperated aneurysm, or a defibrillator? And these are yes-no questions. They're straightforward questions. If you need to, you can pause, and you can then contact the provider, the medical provider, who's maybe prescribed some of these meds and ask for more information. But this is the next step. You answer that question or whatever questions appear, and you'll get that underwriting decision. Green will be accepted. Red or yellow will be declined. You have to click Submit here, and once you do, you're done. So it takes me longer to explain it than it probably is for you to go through that process. Again, the value for you is that you don't have to wait two, three, four days for an underwriter to review it. You've got an answer right then while you're sitting with the person. So then you can talk about maybe some of these other products that John has mentioned. Maybe you're setting up another appointment for a fact finder on a specific opportunity. Because you've gotten that application, yes, no, it's done, and now you know whether you are accepted or you need to go to another market. If you're accepted, the next step is we're going to mail some cards. We're going to mail a policy and we're going to go from there. That's my favorite thing, really, because it's so different about our offering. Our rates are great. Sure, we're financially stable. Sure, we have a fantastic trip. Sure. But this piece, so that you can focus on individuals who are not just 65, but who are maybe 70 or 72 or 74 years old, who's had a, a mid-sub maybe for a couple of years, and they, as John said, haven't shopped it in a couple of years, let's take a look. There's no height and weight. There's no BMI. There's a straightforward yes-no series of questions with sort of standard industry underwriting and a faster-than-industry average decision. Again, giving you the opportunity to talk to your client and then help them or find another market that can on the spot. I did say underwriting's my favorite. You'll probably laugh and say, why isn't a seven day cruise to Norway my favorite? It's because you go and I don't. <laughs> You'll go with our company president, 
the owner of our company or a privately held concern and maybe other agents and you get the opportunity in a very informal very friendly very open opportunity this seven day cruise and it's a bucket list trip you really should look up cruises to norway do a youtube search for that it's on a royal caribbean uh, or right uh, norwegian cruise excuse me it's on our norwegian cruise lines It'd be weird to be royal caribbean in norway when norwegian cruise goes to norway norwegian cruise and look at the wildlife look at the beautiful places that you get to go the scenery is amazing the water the so clear i've never seen so much wildlife as i did in that seven day view if you'd like to figure out how to qualify you can scan this qr code and the link will pop up on your phone the trip dates are july 22nd to 29th of next year and you have well you've had all year but you still have uh, issued business through december 31st 2022 in order to qualify it's one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in premium all premium accounts and we're really excited about this this trip this cruise i hope you are too i hope you get to go and i hope you see mariana and our company president and our company owner on this trip the next step is really if you're not contracted to get contracted you can get me your name your phone number and your email address and i can get you a link premier is great premier has a great capacity to do that the email will come from our tpa so don't delete it if it says do not reply at etna.com and you click the link and you enter some info in you don't need to enter in all of your state licenses because we appoint as needed and we actually pay the appointment fees too as you go so if you're in pennsylvania you do need to a non-resident pennsylvania you do need to to put that in you need to put in your home state and i think it's new mexico or nevada if you're licensed then you need to uh, be appointed prior to the sale for those states but let us know give us that info and we'll help you from there and we'll give you access to that agent portal once you log in you can download that uh, materials you can take a look at our social media you can get updates and these are all things that you're going to have the opportunity to do They say, be brief, be brilliant, be gone. I'm certainly not the first two, but soon it'll be time for me to be the third. But before I go, I really wanted to share with you my contact info. I know John did earlier, and he shared my cell phone. If I can help you sell, please call my cell phone. I know that's a bad line that John laughs at. But I'm Tim Tilson. I'm one of the national sales managers. I started in this business in the mid-1990s, I'll admit that, and sold these products called Medicare HMOs, zero premium Medicare HMOs in the Philadelphia market. I worked for other carriers since then after being an agent, and I was really happy to launch agent sales in one of the nation's largest mid-sub carriers. Gosh, I can't believe it's been 15 years ago. But now I'm excited here to try to solve a problem for you, and that is how can you help people who've had a mid-sub for a couple of years? How can you help people turning 65 or 66? Or 67 with a fast answer. So when it's a Medigap open enrollment, when someone picks up their Part B, sure, there's no underwriting from that Part B effective date for this next six months. Then you talk to the spouse, and the spouse has a need to go through underwriting. Can you sit with them? Can you talk to them? Can you help them? And with American Benefit Life or Capital Life Insurance Company with our meds ups, you have the opportunity to do that. So the joke goes, if you have one question, call me. If you have 10 questions, call Delise. Uh, Sarah's great as well, and Marianne is great as well. We really hope that you take a look at us and take a look at American Benefit Life. Our MedSup offering has value, and we hope it could bring value to you and to your clients here in 2022. Jim, my friend, I thank you. I'm looking in the software system, and it shows that we have a remarkable number of questions, a nice round number. So once again, your presentation covers uh, the aspects of the programs that's necessary for an agent to take this and make it part of their portfolio and become successful with it. And I thank you for that. So at this point in time, I'm just gonna close up with a few additional slides, pull sure. control back. 
and see what we need to do here. So once again, showing my misspelling, I apologize. Um, why would you want to take advantage of this program here at uh, Premier? And pardon me, we have a question. We spoke to uh, Mr. Freeman, Agent Incentives. We talked about the, the trip and some of the things that will come as it uh, with it. So you'll receive some additional information from that as well. Um, Tim, is there anything else in that area that you would like to add? Sure. I would say, you know, reaching out to Premier and asking, do we have app bonuses? Many times we as a carrier will have an underwritten app bonus. Uh, we've had a, a few during the year. I believe we have one for American Benefit Life for an underwritten policy of $100 per app. So I often get the question, do you have free leads? And I would say we do not have free leads, but Premier supports you in a variety of ways around leads. And we will give you cash, right? App bonuses for underwritten business. And if you sell five apps and got $500, then you could work to maximize and leverage the lead program offerings that Premier offers. So yeah, we do bonuses throughout the year on the, on the regular, as they say, but not every day, not every month. But right now we have one running for $100. So hope that helps. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Tim. I think that's what Mr. Freeman was was seeking, was that specific information. Thank you for that. And of course, all of the agent success managers, your marketers with Premier will have that information, or already have that information, and we'll make certain that it's available to you as well. We have a slide coming up. We'll specifically address that too. One of the things that we want to do is make the contracting process simpler for you. Obviously, when we work with uh, ABL and its sister companies, we will use their electronic um, contracting system to expedite things and make certain that things go smoothly. But one of the things that you discover during your appointments are the needs for specific programs at a specific for a specific condition. So people need dental coverage or vision coverage, or they're looking at, um, gee, I need to do some things with long-term care or some of the other programs that Medicare doesn't cover as some of their base coverages and, and aren't part of the base medical. So we want to make certain that we have a program there that can make that as simple as possible for you, creating an agent profile through Sure LC, Insurance Bay, whatever white label it happens to be with different organizations. It gives you that opportunity to contract electronically and quickly in doing so. And I know one of the things I really want to mention right now specifically too, is we have a lot of information coming out from the Medicare Advantage and PDP carriers Speaking of their their product uh, sneak peeks coming for 2023, but it's also that lovely certification time. What's one of the joys about Medicare supplements? You don't certify. One exception, we're not talking about it today. So this gives us the opportunity to do some things quickly and get it rolling. We do offer discounted E&O for qualified agents. What makes you a qualified agent? Well, you got a you got a contract with us. Discounted errors and admission. Why do we care? I mean, well. You can be added to a blanket E&O policy for one company or another. It leaves you kind of exposed in other areas. This is a program you purchase, but you own it. And it will take care of you no matter whom you contract through. And you find that the vast, vast majority of insurance carriers now require the errors and admissions coverage. This takes care of you across the board. We do also offer multi-line uh, continuing education programs available at a discount through our association with WebCE in order to keep your license in play. We also make a, available to you an opportunity to enhance your own benefit structure through a modified guarantee issue DI program in which you're paid a commission on the programs you offer yourself. So a great way to make certain that you ensure your ability to earn dollars um, throughout your career as well. Much as where today's presentation is being recorded, mentioned at the top of the presentation, the past recordings of other presentations are available to you on our website and on our YouTube channel. This gives you the opportunity to go into centers of influence in the community and speak to uh, the advantages of having a Medicare supplement program with um, American Benefit Life and their sister companies and other organizations. So a great way for you to access that library of past presentations 24 7. this is a program i i cannot overemphasize and that is the ability for a contracted organization with our company and our 
Integrity Platform partners to access Medicare Center at no additional cost. Boy, you can tell that's an old MA agent because I have a problem with JJ Walker and the whole free thing. But this is a program that gives you access to multiple quoting engines through a single login where you can do side by side comparisons after collecting that scope of appointment through multiple efforts and storing it for that 10 year period. Keep in mind, you don't need a scope of appointment for med subs specifically, but generally that conversation takes you into other programs that need to be covered by a, a scope of appointment, but it also is an opportunity for you to use that document, that required document to set up additional di discussions. So having that scope of appointment can be a bit of a pain in the tuchus sometimes, but it's a great way for us to take that and use it to our advantage while taking care of that requirement. It also gives you a CRM that's part of the system so you can track your business if you sold it or not, do those annual reviews that are coming up and give you other resources as well, such as scripts and other tips and hints to become more effective in the market. Great tool available to you, free. We also make available, as I mentioned, and this uh, references back to Mr. Freeman's question of, well, are there other incentives? We find that compensation question utmost of appointment uh, of importance, not the sole reason we offer one company or another, but sometimes the challenge is, well, gee, where do I see how these programs compare or where can I get information about a specific one? We have a page on our website that speaks to the carrier incentives and how they can help you qualify for carrier trips, much as what Tim said today with the Norwegian cruise. It gives you then an opportunity of making certain that you see full compensation for your efforts. And those programs also help you qualify for premier incentive programs as well. We do have a number of different means to get you in front of the buying population. And that includes a contact list if you're not afraid of a relationship with Ma Bell and smiling and dialing. Uh, most states allow that, some do not. And some programs allow that and some do not. Medicare supplements do. And so you'll see a number of agents take advantage of this situation and that means of marketing. I mentioned before to the community-based programs, working with centers of influence in the community, speaking to them through a seminar or webinar with different uh, PowerPoints that are available to you through multiple sources. We have a number of them available, the Medicare training a uh, network can really, really help with a lot of the presentations, but those are part of what you can do to help educate different segments of our society, in a manner of speaking, with programs that educate and help you sell. There are carriers that will generate prospects upon occasion. You'll see that mostly with MA or PDP programs, but this is a kind of a quid pro quo situation. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You need a relationship that comes into play and you need to make certain that you are presenting yourself to local management so they are aware of the fact that you're a viable partner for them and can help enhance the possibilities of those prospects. We do have internet lead programs and direct mail support, a great T65 locator I'll talk about in a moment, and then kind of a reminder program on referrals on how you can take and multiply the lows and the fishes by having a singular lead turn into multiple leads simply by asking the right questions at the right time and doing so inobtrusively so it's not wearing a plaid coat, opening it and said, hey, you wanna buy a watch. A great way for you to multiply any lead program, no matter how young or old it is. And we'll talk about that in a moment. That mail program is based, that support program is based on production, but it's a great way to drive down your cost and you can qualify for two of them each and every month if you sell both health programs and final expense. A great way to make this a manageable part of your marketing dollars and it's done through vetted preferred lead vendors. So these are companies that we have investigated to make certain that they have the systems that can um, work well for you, deliver the leads in a very timely fashion so you can get them while they're hot. It's also an opportunity for us to make certain that we vet the correspondence to make certain that we all stay compliant with that outreach as well. We do also have kind of a fill the gaps program when it comes to our calendars and that's our association with the your insurance group never distributed direct mail leads. 
So this is not the full mail program, you're buying just responses. And you'll see that these costs will vary from time to time throughout the year, from one part of the country to another, a real indicator of supply and demand. This is as about as expensive as I've seen these leads, still very reasonable. Uh, many agents will use these to fill gaps in their calendar or make it a regular part of their marketing program. We do have the internet lead programs as well through Facebook. Uh, they're available for both final expense and Medicare as well. The thing with uh, social media and internet leads, a very microwave response from the buying public, but it is a buying public that might be responding to multiple requests and they expect a microwave response as well. So this is something where you nearly need to stay on top of it and make certain that those leads pay off for you. At T65 Locator, this is another of the programs made available through our organization. Oh, golly, G. Uh, Joe Namath, JJ Walker, William Shatner, everybody else, free. You download this program to your smartphone or your desktop. You register for it. They make certain the infamous they that you have contracts with us or a contract with us, and it is available to you without cost. It then allows you to set different parameters for different programs, and you can actually see where these people reside. And let's say, well, you aren't afraid of introducing yourself to people, you can door knock for MedSup. You got to be careful about that in the Medicare world because you can't do that for MA or PDP programs unless you really don't value that contract and you don't care if it's taken away. Uh, hopefully, you're not one of those. So, we want to make certain that this gives you an opportunity to really garner more information about your target areas and let's say you're in an area you've had one appointment you got another one two scheduled the middle one cancels it's a great way for you to go introduce yourself about other programs it is also a means that you can use other programs to approach much as what you can with direct mail programs using a demand product like let's say dental fill that t65 funnel by targeting the appropriate population and visiting with people face to face as to, hey, we have a great dental program in your area. Let's discuss it. A great way for you to build up your book of business and then market to them an appropriate time frame in the future. That referral program, it's something that in my selling days across the table was so successful that sometimes I forgot to do it. It's just 11% of the agent population actually asked for a referral. Are you one of those? This is a program that reminds you that, hey, as you're setting the appointment, you can ask for referrals. Are you comfortable with uh, um, having other people that might be in your same situation visit with us as we discuss your needs? So there are different ways that you can take that single lead and grow it. And not just for the people that you're visiting with now on a sales situation, but going back and engaging your book of business and having folks aware of, hey, I want to be able to help and service you and your account. Plus, are there other people that you know of that can make use of my services? A great way of doing some things inobtrusively, and it's recorded, so you can visit with us. And unlike uh, some of the other things that we do on the webinars I host, it's fairly short. So keep that in mind. We do all this because we want your business. We want to be referable to you and the folks that you visit with within the agent community. And so we're asking for your business. And we're asking for you to refer us to other individuals as well. We want you to make these programs part of your personal marketing plan. Tim illustrated brilliantly, I might add, of the advantages of working with American Benefit Life and the possibility of delivering upon an underwriting decision right then and there. We work with intangible products that's incredibly valuable. So you put that as part of your marketing program and you can put it in play very quickly. Contracting is fairly simple, fairly quick. For those of you working in the Amer uh, Medicare Advantage world, boy, night and day difference between the contracting process because that certification piece isn't part of a Medicare supplement contract. So as John Wayne said in the movie, The Cowboys, slap a piece of bacon in that biscuit, saddle up, let's ride because we're burning daylight. We are. You don't have to worry about this when it comes to a timely fashion. We can have this as part of your portfolio really quickly and it can be a very valuable part of your portfolio moving out through the remainder of the year. 
So all that said and done, I want to check really quickly to make certain that we haven't missed any questions. Kim and his brilliant presentation has covered that completely, so we're good with that. At this point in time, I want to thank Mr. Tilson for his presentation, but I also want to thank everyone who's viewing this webinar because it's an investment of your time. If you're one of those folks that have done business with us here at Premier, I thank you for that business, sincerely. I look to grow that with you as well and perhaps open up that relationship to additional uh, opportunities as well. For those that are you, of you that are viewing us that haven't done business with us, we thank you for the opportunity of doing so in the future. We had a question pop up. I want to make certain that we take care of it. No, thank you, Mr. Freeman. We appreciate your questions and uh, uh, thank you very much for that. So at this point in time, we the uh, take in nearly an hour of your time. I thank you for that investment of your time. It's very important for us to make certain that you have the information you need to make these programs work for you and your agency. And when you deal with a carrier that employs individuals such as Mr. Tim Tilson, you have that support structure in play to help you be a success in this space. And I thank you for that opportunity of moving forward with that as well. So, Mr. Tilson, once again, I thank you for your presentation. For everyone who's viewed this uh, presentation, I thank you for that time. And until we're able to visit again, I wish you good selling. Thanks so very much, and we'll talk to you soon.